Next week, thousands of Olympic athletes and spectators from around the world will arrive in Sochi, but not all of them may feel welcome. It's a big question for some Olympians and Paralympians as to how they will be treated in Russia. And to find out more, we're going to a place with no name and no sign above the door. The reason, it's a gay bar. Most people here don't want to be filmed. Those that do are cautious about what they say. Russia's new law bans the promotion of non-traditional sexuality to under-18s. Critics say the law is draconian and it effectively outlaws gay rights protests. The Sochi organizing committee told us it's working hard to ensure the Winter Olympics will be remembered for their diversity. So how does the mayor feel about gay people in Sochi? We don't have them in our town. You don't have them in the town. You sure? I'm not sure. I don't bloody know them. I went to a gay bar last night. Will gay people be welcome to the Sochi Olympics? Our hospitality will be extended to everyone who respects the laws of the Russian Federation and who doesn't impose their habits and their will on others. But yes, everyone is welcome. I put the mayor's claim to one of Russia's leading opposition politicians. The mayor told me that there were no gays in Sochi. No gays? No, no, no homosexuals. <laughs> As far as I know, there are several gay clubs in Sochi. <laughs> How they survive? Why they are not bankrupt? Last week, President Putin said homosexuals were welcome in Sochi, but warned them against spreading what he called gay propaganda. But there's still concern amongst gay athletes and spectators about how they will be treated when they arrive for the start of the Games next week. John Sweeney, BBC News.